Islamic literature is literature written with an Islamic perspective, in any language. One term for this is Adab. Although today Adab denotes literature generally, in earlier times its meaning included all that a well-informed person had to know in order to pass in society as a cultured and refined individual. This meaning started with the basic idea that Adab was the socially accepted ethical and moral quality of an urbane and courteous person, thus Adab can also denote the category of Islamic law dealing with etiquette, or a gesture of greeting. More recently, studies have been done on the novelization of contemporary Islamic literatures and points of confluency with political themes such as nationalism. Topic. Literature The best known fiction from the Islamic world is the Book of One Thousand and One Nights Arabian Nights, a compilation of many earlier folk tales set in a frame story of being told serially by the Persian queen Shahrazad. The compilation took form in the 10th century and reached its final form by the 14th century. The number and type of tales have varied from one manuscript to another. All Arabian fantasy tales were often called Arabian Nights when translated into English, regardless of whether they appeared in any version of the Book of One Thousand and One Nights, and a number of tales are known in Europe as Arabian Nights, despite existing in no Arabic manuscript. This compilation has been influential in the West since it was translated in the 18th century, first by Antoine Galland. Many imitations were written, especially in France. Ferdowsi's Shahnameh, the national epic of Iran, is a mythical and heroic retelling of Persian history. Amir Arsalan was also a popular mythical Persian story, which has influenced some modern works of fantasy fiction, such as the heroic legend of Arslan. Ibn Tufail and Ibn al Nafis were pioneers of the philosophical novel. Ibn Tufail wrote the first Arabic novel, Hayy ibn Yaqdin, Philosophus Autodidactus, the self-taught philosopher, as a response to Al-Ghazali's The Incoherence of the Philosophers. Ibn al-Nafis then wrote his novel Theologus Autodidactus, the self-taught theologian, as a response to Ibn Tufail's. Both of these narratives had protagonists Hayy in Philosophus Autodidactus and Camille in Theologus Autodidactus who were autodidactic feral children living in seclusion on a desert island. These are the earliest examples of a desert island story. However, while Hayy lives alone with animals on the desert island for the rest of the story, Camille's story extends beyond the desert island setting, developing into the earliest known coming-of-age plot and eventually becoming the first example of a science fiction novel. A Latin translation of Philosophus Autodidactus first appeared in 1671, prepared by Edward Pocock the Younger, followed by an English translation by Simon Ockley in 1708, as well as German and Dutch translations. These translations later inspired Daniel Defoe to write Robinson Crusoe, regarded as the first novel in English. Philosophus Autodidactus also inspired Robert Boyle to write his own philosophical novel set on an island, The Aspiring Naturalist. The story also anticipated Rousseau's Emile in some ways, and resembles Mowgli's story in Kipling's The Jungle Book and Edgar Rice Burroughs's Tarzan in that a baby is abandoned but taken care of and fed by a mother wolf. Dante Alighieri's Divine Comedy, considered the greatest epic of Italian literature, derived many features of and episodes about the hereafter directly or indirectly from Arabic works on Islamic eschatology. The Hadith and the Kitab al Miraj, translated into Latin in 1260 or shortly before as Liber Scale Makameti, the Book of Muhammad's Ladder, concerning Muhammad's ascension to heaven, and the spiritual writings of Ibn Arabi. The Moors also had a noticeable influence on the works of George Peel and William Shakespeare. Some of their works featured Moorish characters, such as Peel's The Battle of Alcazar and Shakespeare's The Merchant of Venice, Titus Andronicus, and Othello, whose title character is a Moor. These works are said to have been inspired by several Moorish delegations from Morocco to Elizabethan England at the beginning of the 17th century. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Medieval Adab works. 
According to Isa J. Bolada, ADAB material had been growing in volume in Arabia before Islam and had been transmitted orally for the most part. With the advent of Islam, its growth continued and it became increasingly diversified. It was gradually collected and written down in books, Arab literature other material adapted from Persian, Sanskrit, Greek, and other tongues as the Arabic language spread with the expansion of Islam's political dominion in the world. It included stories and saying from the Bible, the Quran, and the Hadith. Eventually the heritage of Adab became so large that philologists and other scholars had to make selections therefore, each according to his interests and his plans to meet the needs of particular readers, such as students seeking learning and cultural refinement, or persons associated with the Islamic State such as viziers, courtiers, chancellors, judges, and government secretaries seeking useful knowledge and success in polished quarters. Key early ADAB anthologies were the al Mafadaliyat of al Mafadal al Dabi, d. c. 780 CE, Abu Tamim's Dawan al Hamasa, d. 846 CE, Uyan al Akbar, compiled by Ibn Qutaybah, d. 889 CE, and Ibn Abd Rabbah's al Iqd al Farid, d. 940 CE. See also Arabic literature Arabic epic literature Medieval Arabic female poets Indonesian literature Javanese literature Iranian literature Kurdish literature Persian literature Somali literature South Asian literature Bengali literature Gujarati literature Kashmiri literature Pakistani literature Pashto literature Persian literature Punjabi literature Sindhi literature Urdu literature Turkic literature Azerbaijani literature Turkish literature <laughs>